Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Sari if you are new and I'm an artist illustrator and I live in Barcelona and I make weekly videos about my creative pursuits and different things. Right, so let's get on with this video. We went over to the UK um, on the 27th of December to visit family. We were there for two and a half weeks, nearly three weeks. We got back mid um, January, so by the time we got back uh, I was super kind of tired and getting my head round it being 2018 and kind of, I don't know, just easing myself into the year and that meant that I therefore took an unintentional break of, of social media, YouTube and basically creating anything at all and kind of feel a bit better for it although I feel really unmotivated and don't really know where I stand for this new year so I'm going to ease myself back into it and I've got a few video ideas um, but the first one I wanted to show you what I had picked up in the UK. So I've got lots of goodies spread out on my bed in front of me. As I mentioned, it was my birthday and Christmas and obviously visiting family and things. So I thought I would take you through a cool little array of gifts and things that I got because they are quite stationary heavy. So I've actually been waiting to do this video to be able to get on and use these products. So I'm sat here on my bed and I thought I would go through per person what I've been gifted this Christmas and birthday. So as I said we were in the UK for my birthday and post Christmas and uh, bringing lots of presents back was really difficult as for well was getting presents there because we flew over. So I've got a few more presents to send out. So my sister Vicky, I'll link her stuff down below, makes amazing candles and her gifts are always really lovely and homemade. And this is in a Coleman's mustard tin and mustard yellow is my very favourite thing ever. I love this tin, the vintage feel. The candle, if only you could have smell vision on this candle, it smells beautiful. So yes, this is going to be savoured and treasured. So the second gift that I got from Vic was a really lovely generous gift and it came in this cute little box and it's a planner by Mossery. So the planner itself is actually this one and I've been waiting to film this video to be able to properly fill out this journal but I have started already, I have to make a confession. This is more like kind of a planner that's been set out, but it has a lot of empty spaces, a lot of places for notes. But I actually quite like its structure and find it really useful and easy to see when I'm planning and scheduling and looking at doctor's appointments and looking at the year in general and stuff. It's got a really nice thing, which is a review and plan for January. It's got it's like eight, at the end of each month, you have how did that month go, a planning for the next month, so that's really cool. Rose gold flex on it, and it's got my name embossed, and it's got this lovely elastic hardcover, but a really nice thing, it's got ring bound, and lots of pockets and things. It's a really useful present. The thing I got from Vic was this white lion notepad. So this is basically, you write on it with a normal pen, and you can scan it in with any application. I think it takes away the lines and the grid, so this is really useful when you're doing logos, string, and different drawings and stuff where you have to be quite precise and things and you need lines and um, but when you scan it in you don't want to have to do all of that work so that's a really cool idea I'll let you know how I get on with that and maybe do a little show and tell. From Borja I got some lovely things amongst them were this Sea White sort of Brighton sketchbook in one of my favourite size so um, black cloth sketchbook and it's 140 GSM so that's a nice weight of paper to be able to cover and fill with ink and papers and paint and water and the like. So I also got these two really great books. So I've got the first edition of this book which is called Sick Row. These, this book's actually quite fascinating. It's really gory and gross but it's all illustrated, medical illustration drawings of kind of like operations and instruments and the like. It's not for the faint-hearted and I'm quite faint of heart but it is really super interesting and amazing. I also got the Atlas of Human Anatomy and Surgery. So again, amazing illustrations and different bits of the body and stuff like that, which is fascinating. So next are our lovely little gifts that I got from 
Abby. Abby bought me this beautiful concrete plant holder. It actually made me a macrame, I think it's called, a plant hanger. So I'm gonna kind of incorporate those two gifts together. Abby also gave me some lovely cuttings of her beautiful house plants that I need to propagate and to plant and get into action. She also bought me my favourite Lush Bath Bubble Bar, which is, as we all know, the comforter. I'm obsessed. As well, she bought me these cute tiny little baby pins, which are really lovely here. And here, so that's a bee and a monstera plant in a pot. And the reason I really like these pins as well, because they are out of a limited edition I really like pins I find them a really nice little way to have illustrative items and they just jazz up a leather jacket or a denim jacket or jumpers and different things like that so yeah they're really cool for my birthday well it wasn't actually my birthday I think it was like two days after we or the day after we went to Clifton in Bristol and as we all know in Clifton they've got the um, first paper smith store and I was browsing around and everything and Abby sneakily bought me a very beautiful planner which is for projects. It's by School of Life, yellow beautiful linen, yellow cloth bound book, hard cover and inside it's just empty so I hopefully will be using this for ideas and projects and kind of scheduling different things like writing notes and basic things like that in it uh, my other plan will be more for like fixed schedules and dates and other things so uh, these two will coexist together exist together and um, yes i love them very much also from abby i got these really cute paper clip things i think they're originally from tiger um they're triangle shape and i thought they would look really cool on my pegboard actually hung up I don't know about you but I love keeping birthday cards and things and Christmas cards and I got this really cute little card that I will probably frame which is a bit like my cami dog and yes got little gold starry eyes and I love that so yes. I also got pyjamas and the likes. Abby gave me an amazing china teapot which is awful and tacky of, of a country house and I bought myself a lovely vintage coffee pot which we got in a charity shop and it goes really well on our shelf as you can see and um, my stepdad gave me an amazing i think it's a weather barometer and we've had that we've got that hung up now so yeah that's beautiful and just adds like a nice cool vintage feel and touch to the flat so let's go on to the things that I kind of presented to myself or bits and pieces that I picked up in the UK. For ages I have loved these candles. So this is a Scandinavisk candles. I can smell them coming through the packet. My mum actually bought me a little one as part of my stocking for Christmas. We went to the shop in Ledbury, which is quite near where my mum lives, called Husenhem, I think it's called. They always have these candles, this is how I first discovered this make there and yeah, they're not cheap but they last for quite a long time, let me just open them up, I've been waiting to do this. This one is Flamma, which I think that's how you say Flamma, which is fireside glow and it basically smells of, yeah, a fire. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh my goodness, so yeah. It literally does smell like a, like a beautiful fire. So it comes with these really nice wooden lids. Oh, the smell is just so unique and so beautiful. I am really pleased to got that. And I also picked up myself another one is Ford. So this is carved from Glacius. Glacius, Glacius, Glacius. I don't know. Oh, this smells so beautiful and fresh and a tiny bit sweet and really lovely. Those are my two candles that I've been waiting to burn, but I think I will have to leave for a very special burning occasion. They are both beautiful and really unique smelling candles and it's always lovely at this time of year to have a nice set of candles to burn. I follow You Studio online, um, I've been following them on Instagram for quite a few years now. Um, when I saw that they had a shop in Bristol, I think in Park, Park Street or Lane, I don't remember what it is. They were having a sale and I decided to myself up a few bits as well from there. 
because I think it's nice to support these smaller stationery illustration designers and things like that and I think New Studio does that really well. So I bought these funny little coasters here with men with beards and I thought they were really cute and they would go really nice on our vintage coffee table. I also bought some really pretty little cards and pins and bits of pieces. I really love an illustrator from here, called, I think she's from here, I don't know what of Spanish speaking anyway, called Blanca Gomez and got these really beautiful little cards that I thought would be really nice to put up and put in frames. I've got these postcards as well because I thought they were really good and I've, this one I want to put next to my bed and it says fuck this shit I'm going back to bed and this one things will work out. Yeah these are by all different artists and things that's cool. And then got this little foxy card. I love card like that and happy birthday biscuit card. And I also got myself this tiny little cute enamel pin because you can never have enough pins. So yeah that is my little Christmas goodie stash loot haul thing. I really hope you've liked this video. Uh, please be sure to check out my Instagram um, for daily updates and different things. I'm often on Instagram stories and posting. I've actually had a little hiatus, but now I'm going to get back to it. And um, yeah, it's actually been really lovely to sit down and record a video and have a chat. And yes, just to be here again. I feel a bit more complete, a bit more with purpose now. So yes, I will link everything down below, or well, endeavour to anyway. I hope you're all well and welcome to February. New starts and the month of love and happiness and things like that. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. Adieu. Bye. Bye.